Hey! Is anyone there? Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. <sighs> that beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on, let's get you to a doctor. You'll be okay.
You're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. And what was Marseille like? My father was a shopkeeper. He sold paints. Artists from all over the world would come especially for this one shade of Ten Hours Bleu. It was a famous shop. And my dearest memory is of how it smelt. Here, the only scent is of damp rags, or sweat, or rotting flesh. And the colors? There are only two. Day or night. But hey, you didn't come to listen to my memories. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh, no such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. You must find him quickly. Hey, thanks for what you did out there, man. Man, you saved our asses. I think I'll name my boy after you. Say, what's your name? If I have a son, I want to name him after you. You're gonna be a dad? Congrats. Well, not really. Still haven't found the right girl. Not yet. But when I do and we have a son, we'll call him... Aiden. And if it's a girl, Aidina. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Craftsmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters.
Renegades, more of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be like something the butcher and Waltz are brewing. But why now? You're alive.
Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Eight? You sure? How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for him. Totally berserk. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. <laughs>
Found him. Look! Another trap! You're dancing! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. Are you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only seven I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen. Did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not then. Sebastian is an artist. Demlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille. To his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. Hey, this should help. I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the Renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps.
Fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Form your type. What? I, what? The one. Get lost. Container nearby. 
Oh well, that's more like it. Hey, Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Très bien, my friend. Tobias told me you helped him as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan? We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. <laughs> 